Hi, I'm Chad Yates with more pop music trivia. I had a great conversation with Jay Siegel, the longtime lead singer of The Tokens, best known for their iconic hit, The Lion Sleeps Tonight. He did that, but he did so much more after that, as you'll find out right here, right now. Now, The Tokens have been around for a while. You joined the group way back, what, in the late 50s? Well, I started with The Tokens back in, uh, in uh, high school in Brooklyn, and the guy who started the group, The Tokens, I'm sure you people, uh, your listeners know who he is. His name is Neil Sedaka. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And that's when I started. I was only uh, about uh, right before my uh, 16th birthday. That's how long I've been with the group. Uh, you know, way back in the uh, in 1957, actually. In the jungle. After The Lion Sleeps Tonight, Jay told me about some other musical ventures. Now, the Tokens uh, have been recording, but they've also been producing other music acts, too, like The Happenings, who are very similar in sound uh, to the Tokens, with songs like See You in September and I Got Rhythm. Yeah. Now, you own the record label that they recorded on, BT Puppy. Well, BT Puppy was our label that we started in the 60s, and the reason that we uh, called it BT Puppy is because we were on RCA Victor, whose logo was Nipper the Dog, and oh. we were starting a brand new label, so we were going to call it BT Puppy, which st stood for Bright Tunes. Uh, which was the name of our, uh, our, our production and publishing company. Bye bye, so long, farewell. Bye bye, so long. See you in September. And there was more. Uh, yeah, we, uh, we did a lot of production. In fact, I think we're in the history books as being uh, the first vocal group to produce a number one record with another vocal group and that would be uh, He's So Fine by the Chiffons. We produced all their records as well. He's so fine A decade after The Lion Sleeps Tonight, Jay Siegel was not one to rest on his laurels. He resurfaced in the 70s on other hit recordings. Of course, you were involved with Tony Orlando and Don. Tony, yeah, we did all Tony's records uh, from uh, Candida, Not Three Times, Tie Yellow Ribbon. And in, in fact, uh, uh, Don was a studio group before he found the, uh, his, real, his, uh, his two other girls that he uh, worked with on television. And... Uh, Actually, I and my, myself and two other girls, we were actually Dawn. We, we sang all the backgrounds uh, for, uh, for Tony Orlando and, uh, and, and his first album and his first three big hit records. Wow, like Candida knocked three times. Yeah, that was uh, myself and two other girls. We were Dawn at, at the time. Whoa, Candida, we could make it. Jay Siegel, a very talented guy as a lead singer, backup singer, and co-producer and co-owner of his own record label. Join me next time for more pop music trivia. If you enjoyed it, please share it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.